Hi y'all, I'm Trisha Killian with Trans West Trailers, here to help you with all of your horse trailer needs. Today, we're gonna go ahead and do a full walk around on this 2005 Exus Living Quarter. This is the same kind of walk around that I'd actually do with a customer as they went to pick their unit up. We're gonna do the exterior first and then the interior. This is your gooseneck stem, which on most trailers will be completely adjustable. You're gonna loosen these bolts and then you can slide it up and down to the proper position. The reason you wanna adjust this is so you have the right amount of clearance between the bottom rail of this nose and the top rail of your pickup bed. You want about six inches or a man's hand span so that way you're not crunching anything. You'll also notice over here you've got separate safety chains. You want to crisscross these so it'll cradle this coupler if you are disconnected. Breakaway battery, this is your third line of defense. Once this gets pulled out of here, out of this pin, it'll actually lock up your brakes for five minutes. Very important to have this connected separately from the safety chains. Uh, there are several laws statewide that uh, prohibit that from being hooked up to the safety chain itself. This particular trailer has a seven pin RV plug. Really simple, you just line that in. This is what's gonna give you brakes, lights, and charging power to your living quarter batteries going down the road. So here are your batteries in their own individual box. You'll notice to the right of the batteries you actually have a battery kill switch. An on off on this side over here. The reason this is important, you want to have that battery switch to on if you're looking to charge these batteries while you're plugged into shoreline power. If that is off, your batteries will not charge. The exception to the rule is if you're actually plugged into your truck and the truck is running, it will automatically charge those batteries whether that switch is on or off. Remember, you need these batteries to be fully charged and functioning well to run your jack, which you're going to find right above there. Simple, you've got a key on, off, can simply raise and lower the trailer with a push of a button. This is actually an equalizer electric over hydraulic jack system. You'll notice right here, we've got our hydra hydraulics for the jacks themselves. Lockable box, spare tire, propane tanks. So make sure when you're going down to the trail or whatever you're gonna do next, keep these guys full, simply open them, Choose with this lever which tank you wish to use. You'll notice that it's green right here on the top of this cap. If it's green, that means you've got propane in the line. If it's red, you're looking at empty. You need to manually switch this over to the other propane bottle and it should go ahead and register as green if you've got that full and if you've got this open. On the driver's side of this trailer is where you're gonna find your fresh water fill. Your fresh water fill simply has this little cap here. You're gonna open it, put your hose in here, use a white hose for potable water only, and start filling her up. Next to it, you have your city water fill. This will actually bypass your fresh water. So if you're an RV campground, you can actually use that instead of using your own resources in your own tank. It's pretty handy. Below it, you're gonna find your hot water heater. This trailer has been winterized. When we winterize these, we completely clear out all the lines of water. We take out the anode rod and completely empty your hot water heater. Exhaust for your furnace right here. This is gonna be exhaust for your refrigerator. Directly below that is going to be the housing compartment for your shoreline power cord. 110 volt, 30 amp service. Always remember that you're plugged into 30 amp service. You don't want to be plugged into 15 and try to run all your systems, otherwise you're going to flip some breakers immediately. So right now you're looking at your holding tanks. This is actually going to be your cap right here, and you're going to take this cap off, put on your sewage hose. What you want to do first is actually empty your black water tank, which will be this one. Just remember, number one, number two. You're going to pull this rod you're going to pull this rod out and your sewage will come out. You want to push that back in and then you're going to pull the rod for your gray water. That way it actually flushes out the tube. And then of course push that rod back in. 
take your sewage hose off, put your cap back on. Lockable escape door, all single key entry, same key for doors, windows, and mangers. Drop down windows, comes right down, safety bar grill, pull bar, very simple. Latch right back up. Manger compartment. Beauty chrome rings on all your tires. This trailer actually has brand new tires on it. And of course, two ties on this side, one tie on the other. Load lights are located on the driver's side. These will be for your stall and tack, for your flood lights. Rear collapsible tack, you can remove this post and then fold this up and lock it. Plenty of bridle hooks, brush tray, sliding windows on your hip, recessed slam latch divider. Pretty easy entry on that. Just slam it shut.